guys welcome back to the channel so as promised in one of my previous videos getting ready for Christmas crafts uh, I promised you I would make some Christmas scented crystals or I was going to show you how I make my scented crystals so I want to make some Christmas scent crystals uh, so whilst I do that I'm gonna do it with you and show you it's a really simple quick process so let's get started straight away so I'll show you the supplies that I've got so first thing you need is people do it all different ways but I use Himalayan pink salt so this is the chunky salt you'll see it here because I've just got some left in this little pot here and then I'll move on to this one so it's just the chunky salt and the purpose if you don't know what I mean when I say scented crystals is you we're basically going to scent these with some fragrance oils color them and then you literally put a scoop or two into your uh, wax melt warmer but heat it up it releases the fragrance and then when the fragrance has gone I think it doesn't last as long as a wax melt but when the fragrance has gone you literally get it tip it out in the bin once it's cooled down um, so it's just an alternative to wax melts it's just something different so I'm going to show you how to do that so we've got the salt um, I use jars to prep it in you can see I've just got some names written on when I've done it before you need your fragrance oils so I've got some Christmas ones uh, that I'm going to be doing I'm going to be doing a selection of five different ones today I use just a little plastic stir stick that I can clean and then I use a selection of Mika powders to colour them and then other thing I use is a weighing scales uh, because what I do so depending how much of a batch you want to make I literally do 100 gram batches um, we're going to get on to bagging these tomorrow because I like these to sit for 24 hours but it's a really simple process get the jar we're gonna put that on let me just reset that I'm literally gonna put 97 grams of salt into the jar I might have to, so that's everything from there. I'm going to have to use some of this one now. Stand by, let me just open this. Oh, oh no, look at that. That has finished, bang on 97. Then we're going to get the scented oil. So in this case I'm doing Christmas ones, but you don't have to do Christmas. You can use any fragrance oil. And I'm literally going to do like three grams of fragrance oil. So until that gets to 100, it's gone to 101, no biggie. Don't overdo it, otherwise the salt gets too oily. Can move that out of the way. Then we're going to get a Mika powder. So this is Christmas Bayberry. So let's do a colour. Uh, I think I'm going to do the lavender. And I'm literally going to put a little, oh, she says, a little dust in. Get my little plastic hand, and I'm literally going to give that a good old stir. And when you're using Mika powder, you can see like how well the salts cover, and then you can see. in these corners you need to grab those and the reason I like to do these in jars is because after we'll give it a good old shake as well and if I you could smell this so you'll still see some little pink tones from the salts that's just how it is and 
I've just got a bit of kitchen towel here. I'm going to wipe that spoon. I put the lid on and then I give it a shake. And then what I'll do is on this label that I put on the top, so that was Christmas Bayberry, I'm literally just write that. And then throughout, up until now, until tomorrow, every now and then, every time I go past these in the back room, I'll just give them, I'm shaking the whole camera here, I'll just give them a little stir, get the salts and the fragrances moving around. So that's one done. This will literally tomorrow, just need bagging up and I'll show you how I do that later. So then, I wipe with my little hand. Move that out of the way. We've used that colour. We've used we've used that oil. We're going to the next one. The next one we'll do Christmas berries. Let me write the label now. Christmas berries. So again. five jars done so we've got Christmas cookie I've got the Christmas berries I've got Christmas spice every time I touch them I just give them a shake then I've got Christmas uh, bayberry that's it's really nice purple and then last one is warm gingerbread like I say I'm gonna keep these in the jars for 24 hours some people don't do that um, I found it quite hard to find videos on how to make these but the videos I did find not everyone kept them uh, for 24 hours but I just find before you bag them up just let them absorb that oil keep giving them a stir around you can really give them a good good old shake so I'm going to come back tomorrow, bag these up, show you how I do that for you. It's going to be a case of a few seconds. So stick around and I'll show you the next process. Hi, so welcome back. We are 24 hours later. These have all been settling in jars. So just give them their last final shake and then we're ready to bag them up. 
So I'll just show you what I've got to bag them up. I've got these holographic pouches and these are, I've just got them from Amazon. I can't even remember the size of them, but I'll try and find them and link them down below. So we've got those. Then on my Cricut, I've made these, if you can hear snoring, that's my little dog. Hello, can you stop snoring please? I made these uh, stickers. So these are just for the front. These were just like the logo I made and then I'll hand write the scent on them. And then I also made, made this on Canva. These are some instructions that will stick on the back of the pouch. Uh, and it just says, scented crystals are perfect alternative to wax melts as they offer a shorter but stronger burst of fragrance to fill the room quickly. Just add two to three scoops to your wax burner, light a tea light and enjoy the amazing aromas. Sizzlers will last approximately four hours per two to three scoops depending on the size of your burner. Once the scent has been used up, simply wait for the sizzlers to cool and pour straight into your bin. So that's my little sticker that I put on the back and I just printed that on sticker paper. I might need to print more for all of these. And then so I get the pouch and then I'll put a plastic spoon in the back of that now. And it, because I've done like a about 100 gram mix, although 97 gram crystals, I've got my scales, I weigh, off, I weigh approximately 33 grams per pouch and I don't close them up till I've done all three pouches. So I'll do the Christmas berries first because I've written the labels for those. So I'll give that its last final shake. Oh, it smells so good. Let's do the scale. I'll literally get that. We'll weigh it, so that's 11, 19, 25, not have enough, 32, so that's one pouch done, let's do the next one. When you get to the last bit, you do literally have to scrape every last sort of bit. So that's 25, so maybe one more scoop. 28. That's 33. So then this last little bit that's left going to the last pouch so I have to gather all that and then if it turns out that I can't get equal I'll just scoop some out of the other pot but literally So that's 27, so it's almost there. And I do have those tiny little spoons, sometimes I'll use that. 31. And you'd be surprised at how much these little salts weigh. Just one last little scoop, might. So let's just move to 32. 34. So that's that in the pouch so then I'll get, release all the air seal it up I do also sellotape them closed before I sell them we'll get one of these stickers peel off from the back I'll just that on the back, I'll get one of my labels, I'll 
go. And I'll stick that on the front. And that's literally how I package them up. Instructions on the back, in their little pouch. Sellotape these clothes so people can't open and steal them because I sell them in my little shop. And that will be how I package them. So I'll package all these up and I'll show you them all finished. Right, here they are all bagged up. So I've run out of the sticker for the back. I need to print some more. So I'll do that later. I haven't got time now. Um, but here they are. I just think they're really simple to make. I hope you found it simple. Simple but effective. Um, I've tested these in my wax burner. Not these specific ones, but when I've made them before. And the scent is really good. Just as good as a wax melt. If not, the scent is actually stronger when they heat up. Um, but you can do them in all sorts of colours, all sorts of fragrances of the fragrances that you have. Putting them in these little pouches just makes them really effective. I mean, I've just done them in these little sizes. So then I sell these at like a pound a bag. Um, so then people can have a variety of different scents at a cheap price. But you do see people sell them at larger quantities. But up to you how you want to do that. So here they are. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have, please give the video a thumbs up. If you haven't already, then please subscribe. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you soon. Bye.